Hey guys, welcome back to Flying in Space with Planet Head. I really should... I always say this, but I should really fix my uh, camera work or something. Um, so, a uh, little bit different video um, that I'm doing here. This is actually my second try at it. The first one, I think it got a little bit too wordy. I didn't even want to listen to it. Um, so I'm going to try to jump straight in. Uh, if you watched the last video that I had, I actually had a, <laughs> at the very end of it, right when I was closing up, um, somebody actually applied to my corporation, which, uh, currently we are a massive two members, well, three members now, we have three members in the corporation. And to be frank about it, I'm not recruiting, um, I never want to say no to anybody. It's very similar to my current job whenever... Uh, we have people who want to become new um, trainers. Uh, we ask them to come to us about it, and then we work with them from there. Um, just my idea is promote something, and then people who are interested in it will show up. People who don't, don't. It does not a big deal for me. Um, to be frank, uh, uh, maybe five, ten years ago, I had had some grandiose ideas about creating the greatest corporation ever to rule all of Eve. And then after about a month, you figure out how much pain in the butt that is. <laughs> but um, I do remember uh, a long time ago being part of an alliance, actually being put in the position. Our CEO left of a very small corporation that I was in. There were about five of us in there and really enjoying hanging out with those guys and the parts of the alliance that I was with. Um, that was one of the big bonuses of that. Uh, the grind got to me, but the actual gameplay or the, the players in it uh, were what really kept me going. I think that's what keeps a lot of people going. So uh, what I thought I would do was um, go over today uh, that's actually an email I'm sending out to the corporation. If you can zoom in, I'm going to bring it up here in a second, so it doesn't really matter. Um, it'll be the only corporate email I will ever post. Maybe not. I don't know. Part of doing the videos, um, very similar to um, when I first started making the videos, was just to have fun. And I think I've gone down this road. I'll keep it very brief. I remember when I first started them, I thought I, I made a couple. They were uh, instructional videos, and then I got out there and I figured out that other people were doing better instructional videos, or you run out of things to instruct upon. Um, a lot of thought and effort going into something that's already reinventing the wheel. Um, the other thing, too, was uh, when I started making videos, um, I, I felt like at times that I had to make a video. I had to do something. Um, and I think a lot of corporation leaders do that um, in EVE, that they have to be there. And um, so I was a little bit worried that, you know, I don't want to have people join the corporation and for me to a month from now turn around and go, hey, I'm out of here. Well, I'm not going to be out of here because uh, I'm really enjoying what I'm doing and I want to incorporate the corporation into something similar to that. And that's what really started sticking to my craw for a sec, but I couldn't, I couldn't wrap my head around my thoughts on it. So I, of course, and I think I've, I should just start saying this is my bibliography. What did I do? I went out and I tried to find a video or two about how to, um, create a corporation. Well, not create a corporation, but run a corporation. But I wanted something simple because, um, uh, something that, and there's plenty of videos out there on how to create a corporation. You can find those. Um, they are, uh, they talk about, um, oh, that is not good. There we go. Okay, fine. Um, I'm fidgeting. I drank hot chocolate rather than coffee. I think the sugar's gotten to me. I'm an idiot. Um, I need coffee. Okay. Got a little bit left. So, um, I went and I was looking through some videos and I found a really, I think a pretty good one, um, from back in June, 2021. So it's been around for a little while. I didn't want the video to focus on, or the tutorials to focus on creating a corporation because that's pretty simple. You go in, create a corporation, pay your fee, go in and create your, um, your, uh, name, your whatever. 
Um, and he goes through that a little bit here. But um, EVE Online Tutorials uh, has a very good video. It was uh, EVE Online, How to Run and Build a Corporation. And it's only about, you know, looks like 12 minutes long. Um, he had some very good points in there. Now, like every, every gameplay and everything that you do, some of the things that I'm searching for are not what he's searching for, similar to um, uh, the fellow that I was watching the other day where he was talking about doing the alpha character. How he wants to run his alpha character is different, and the goals that he has are different from the way that I wanted to run my alpha character. So, um, I watched the video, and there were some... But when you even if you don't have the same goal in mind of a video... There are definitely points that you can get from it. He had some very good points and two very important points that I, I pulled from that. Um, and I, I added a little bit of a smidget on the mind for number one. Um, and then number two is so open-ended, but very important. Maybe the most important out of both of them. So the first one is um, if you are questioning whether or not you want to become a create your own corporation um he said you have to uh let have a specific amount of availability and to let your corp mates know when you're available and um that's a very important aspect because as a leader as a manager myself in my job um, managing things, people want to know that you're available if they need you, or if you're not available, when will you be available? And that's in the last 20, 25 years of my managing things, uh, that has been a number one priority. At work, I work in a warehouse. Um, it's funny because literally two, we two, three weeks ago, uh, another manager, uh, uh, messaged me and said, actually thank me because I always have a walkie on me uh, throughout the warehouse and a lot of people don't want to have them on them they don't want to and I'm always available with the walkie on me he knows exactly where he can touch with me and when, every time I leave my station or my area I tell everybody that's there if you need me here's my walkie here's this is what channel I'm on and they can get in touch with me and that's my number one priority because they're my guys and I need to be able to either get in touch with them or come and help them if possible. Um, I have so many little projects that I'm on at work that sometimes I get pulled away. And um, so I want them to know that I'm there available. And um, that was number one as far as if you want to be a CEO, that's one thing I think you have to really understand is that you need to be available and you need to... Uh, let your guys know when you're available and how to get in touch with you. So that's going to be my goal over the next week or so for my current corporation is to figure out the times that I'm available and then also um, the times that I'm not and how to get in touch with me even if I'm not um, around. Like if they want to drop, drop a note for me. Uh, a great example would be at my work. We have multiple ways to get in touch with you. You can talk on a walkie. You can instant message. You can email you can send a carrier pigeon um you can uh shoot spit wads and hope that things it doesn't matter um you can yell really loudly and i might hear you um <laughs> but um to be specific on the best way to get in touch with you and if you're not willing to do that uh then you really might want to think about whether or not you want to run your own corporation or guild or whatever that is in a game because um, you're only setting yourself up for failure if you don't want to do that. So number one thing, no matter what, you may have the greatest idea for a corporation ever, but if you're not willing to do that, then why would your people who are working with you be willing to help you out with that? So, uh, that's the number one that I got from his. Now, he didn't go as in-depth with that as I just did. I like taking small ideas that they bring up, and it really helped me flesh it out in my brain. And just to give you an idea, so uh, one thing I thought about was, okay, what do I have to put in place? I need to put in, let my guys know what days I'm available to play. Uh, really, just if I just set up one day that I'm always at work, or always at work, <laughs> my second job of Eve, um, 
always able to play, let's say, and this is just throwing something out there, on a Sunday from 7 to 10 in the evening Eastern time, I will always be on to uh, go blow stuff up with everyone. Um, or I'll be there to uh, answer any questions or go over any bills or anything like that. Um, that is very important. Um, so the other way is how do you communicate? Now, I haven't set up Discord yet. I'm not going to go do that very much very soon. We have our corporate channel. Um, we have our um, regular email. I did download the uh, Eve portal so I can actually grab emails on my phone when I'm not at work. Do I want it to rule my life? No, because running the corporation is going to be tertiary, third on my list. Number one is having fun. Number two is making videos and having fun. Number three will be doing the corporation because I think it can still be fun. Um, but I want everybody to know how they can get in contact with me. Um, maybe number zero is not playing Eve and working and making the money so I can pay for it. So um, so that's the first thing is your, as a leader, your availability. Uh, the second one, and this is maybe more important if you want to have people join you and uh, buy in and be part of the team is to have a purpose, a thing that you do. And then how do, do one and two commingle? Like as a CEO in purpose part one, do you have the time to then work with the purpose in I, 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 this is kind of cool. I like this. Um, and do they mingle? You know, do they work? Or do you not have, maybe I want to rule all of Eve with my purpose, but I can only play two hours a week, you know? So yeah, I'm going to rule all of Eve, but only play two hours a week. That's not going to happen. Um, so you got to figure out what you want to do. Um, so the email that I was just sending out to my guys was I thought about this for a little while. I wanted something because obviously they've been watching. They only joined because they saw my videos. Uh, the, the whole two of them, our whole corporation of two people. So I was thinking about an idea that they might enjoy. And, um, and I wanted to get their feedback as to what they thought might be a good idea for it. So I just wrote them up an email. And I said, hey, and I'm basically in a shorter version, explained exactly what I just said, um, of creating a corporation. I don't have the time. There, there's so many different types of corporations. You've got your corporations to war, rule all of Eve. You've got your mercenary corporations. You've got your mining corporations. You've got your exploration corporations. Uh, you've got corporations that go out and just save people out in wormhole space. You've got hauling corporations. You've got uh, uh, weird, friendly you know, drinking corporate, I don't know, that'd be cool, that'd be a cool one, that would be it, maybe I need to change the whole purpose, of our I have to think about that for a little bit, um, but my thought was, I don't have the time for any of those, right now at least, maybe down the road, um, maybe if I become the greatest Eve video maker ever, not gonna happen, um, and it's paying for all of my bills, not gonna happen, um, then maybe I I can create a corporation that I can rule all of Eve. Not going to happen. What did I? So what did I think of? Well, um, a corporation that's loosely based on projects uh, that involve inventing and um, and trying new things, testing, a testing and um, in, inventate invention corporation um, and it, that is project based so basically everybody in the corporation uh, works together uh, or works separately um, the corporation collects a very minimal amount of taxes to help those guys actually and at the very minimal I think I've got a 0.1% right now it's all focused at them and they can go do whatever they want to but should they ever want to donate anything they can and then um, make that very transparent that everyone can see what's been donated. 
And then if somebody wants to try something, like maybe they want to try building an all uh, Tristan fleet of 10 ships and get 10 of our corp members together to go fly them around and see what happens. Have a battle royale um, and see what happens. Maybe the corporation can do it. Maybe somebody wants to try out um, a planetary interaction for the first time. Do it, you know, and the corporation can back that. And then as people learn more and do more, you help them out. That was the, that, that's the email that I was sending out. But also starting that, that idea of a purpose. Now, is that what the corporation is going to be? No, it's communicating with the members of your corporation what they might want to do. And that is the biggest part, is having a purpose and making other people in the corporation want to be part of that purpose. Now, things are going to change and people are going to go different ways and do different things. You're going to have that all the time and a corporation can change and do things um, depending on how much time people have to play. Um, but I want to make this video mostly for the first part because I think a lot of people forget about the role of the CEO in an EVE corporation. Um, I have started this game twice um, with the uh, very specific goal of just joining a corporation and helping them out as much as possible. The first one was, um, I want to say 10 years ago. Um, and I joined a corporation. We were together for about two months. I was still learning the game. Um, and, uh, I think about some of the things I did. I was scouting out systems to find a new home for us. And then our uh, corp leader left. He gave us a little bit of notice, but he said life had changed. And suddenly I was put in charge of the corporation. There was five or six people that I had recruited into the corporation. It was a small corp. And, um, but he got, he went away. And so we kept it rolling for another year or so. We ended up joining a, we didn't grow anymore, but the, re the group of us, we moved on to a Nolsec corporation. I've talked about that in the past. Um, and played there. The second time when I came back about a year, year and a half ago, uh, more so than a year and a half, time's flying, um, I did the same thing. I said, hey, the time that you had fun was when you played with people. And this is before I even thought about making YouTube videos. And um, so I joined a corporation right off the bat. And the guy was actively recruiting a ton of people. Uh, he bought an Astra house within a week of joining up after we were trying to tell him not to. Um, and there were probably 10 people that joined the corporation uh, within the first week or two that he had it up and running. And uh, got the Astor House blown up by a mercenary or a group, uh, a group of high sec people who went, <laughs> you put that up here? We're blowing it up. You don't know what you're doing. Um, and then he quit, you know, so because he didn't understand the role of the CEO. So... Um, also what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to document my time over the next couple weeks under a new playlist called Corp Time instead of Coffee Time, um, Corp Time, um, Corp CEO Time, maybe that's it. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Uh, but I'm going to make a new playlist and start that up. It's my semi-experiment. Uh, I don't really view it as an experiment because experiments end. I don't plan on ending this one like I had in the past. Um, but it is something new. And if I can bring up videos that show what we've run into, issues, things like that, that might be able to help somebody else create their own corporation, um, I think that might be helpful. So um, that's what I'm going to be doing here in the near future. Uh, other than that, um, I do have a little bit of an update um, for my, I'm not, one of the reasons why I'm making this video, hey, there's nobody in the system, sweet, sorry, um, reason why I was making the video was uh, people were in the system, <laughs> um, no it isn't, I wanted to make this video anyway, but of course they just came back, fine, um, I'm not worried about it, a um, little bit of an update, um, so I did update 
my omen this is not an omen update video but i wanted to show you the slight change that i made in the fit that can really change um really has changed the ship itself um oh and that's my well that is not an omen no it is not there you are well that's important remember arbitrator if i don't talk about the this video I'll talk about in the next one. It's going to be the next ship that I start working on building to test out. Um, okay, that's all I'm going to say about that. That's another video. Give me content. Um, good, good, good. I do kind of plan things. I kind of go throw a dart at something and then I get an idea. Um, so, uh, Omen. There you are, Omen. Let's make you active. Can you tell I'm getting out of being sick? I'm still a little bit stuffy. I will warn everyone here uh, that watches my videos. When I get done being sick, I have so much energy. It's ridiculous, and I am so happy. It happens every single time. And I'm going to be blunt. This is the sickest I have been over an extended period of time. I've been sicker for a very short period of time where everything evacuated. Um, but this five days of COVID just drained me completely and I feel myself coming out of it and I feel myself having a ton of energy. I'm going to take my test tomorrow to see if it's no longer in my system. If I am, I am going to go run up a mountain, um, until I pass out. Uh, so a little bit of an update off track there. Going to get right back to it here. So number one. I want to thank my buddy, uh, Johnny Midnight, my corp mate. He sent me a uh, skin for my omen. Look at that puppy. Look at her. She's pretty. It's going to be on there every time I play her now. Um, I don't, you know, I I don't know why I'm so into skins. I don't know why people get into it. I think there's a, a switch. There's a switch that happens when you stop playing for ISK and for power gaming there's a that looks cool and i want that um and that is what has happened up here um so thank you so much johnny you're awesome um but uh the update which is more important sorry no the skin's more important it's pretty freaking awesome um da, 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 there it is so and i, I don't want to spend a thousand hours on this but I will tell you what I did and how it has changed everything. So if you remember the old fit, um, I had everything that's on my high and low slots here um, in one power diagnostic system. And I also had a damage control, which usually most people try to throw on because it's such a multi-purpose positive thing. Um, but I could not fit any medium uh, cap batteries onto the ship because I was using up too much of my power grid. Well, I thought about it more and more, and as I was flying and blowing things up, um, I wasn't being hit as much as when I had my Mahler out there. Because the Mahler is armor tanked, and it's slower. And I talked about that a lot. I'm not going to go down that road. You guys understand that. Um, the... Uh, so I removed out, to try it out, I removed out the damage control and threw in a second power diagnostic. Um, and just to show you, I'm going to turn off. And uh, my buddy Ink, I think it was, he pointed out that I turned some stuff off and then forgot to turn them back on before I went to blow stuff up. Um, I'm not, thank you. Um, but, so my old ship had one power diagnostic, and I still had 52.5 power grid left. So to try to throw on a cap battery onto this, it would say I had not enough power. So I had to throw in some relays, I think they were, to my battery. Um, so I took off the uh, uh, I said it earlier, 53, damage control and threw on a second compact power diagnostic system. Now, there might be something better for me to use, but this is what I've scavenged and what I can use. And I think I've talked about this in the past, but I can't remember which videos I shut down or not. The biggest thing here is it does multiple 
things for you. It uh, increases your shield recharge rate. I don't care about that. So this is not a shield-based ship. So that's the one thing I don't care about. My capacitor recharge rate goes up. My, um, I, I didn't even notice the shield hit point bonus went up. I was, wow. My power grid goes up and my capacitor capacity goes up. So many positives to this one little thing that goes in there. Yeah, none of them are 10%. But all of them are positives, and when you just need a little bit of something, I really had never used these before. This is why I scavenge. This is because I'll use items I've never used before. I have to tackle problems that I've never seen before, so I learn more. Um, I threw on a second one. Boom. And now, not only can I add in one cap battery, but I can actually add in a second cap battery. Now, I haven't thrown in any rigs, and that'll be the Omen update that I do on the road, but this was a major change. The other thing that I did do was I threw on some multi-frequency M's um, with uh, some modulated energy beams. I had three available of each, and the guns are better, and they're tier four, and the um, crystals do more damage. They take more energy, but hey, guess what? I'm getting more energy right here and right here. Um, so I'm able to use these, and if I get any more modulated energy beams, I'm throwing them right in there, because why? I am now doing 258 damage per second versus 221. Um, and that is with no skill upage in the past. I still have some skills that I can boost up, a lot of skills that I can boost up. Um, so really, as a basic ship, I just increased my damage output by um, 38, almost 40, so 20, about 15 to 20% just by switching out that one item and adding in the other two because the other really awesome part here is my old depletion time. I don't know if you can see that there. My old depletion time was at about a minute and 30 seconds. By throwing in these batteries, I'm now up to 2 minutes and 42 seconds. Um, because number one, my capacitor grew, and number two, my recharge rate grew. And you can see that. I'll just show you the difference to the fact that I'm able to throw these in here. Um, my capacitor without those batteries on here is at 2,000. If I throw one on, it goes up to 2,700. If I throw the second one on, it goes up to 3,390. So huge difference. It's um, really cut down on my time to have to kill things. Why did I feel comfortable to take the damage control off? Because the ship is faster, quicker, so I'm able to get in faster and start doing my transversal. Now, this is a purely focused, purely ratting ship. Um, next videos we're going to start doing are about my last video that I did where I'm just going to start thinking about uh, creating some um, uh, defense ships, uh, defense cruisers um, to have fun with. I will probably die in them a lot but it'll give me something to mess around with. So, um, okay, wow, I'm still under 30 minutes. Sweet, I thought I talked for like an hour. Maybe I'm getting faster at this. Or, But other than that, um, that's all I got for today. Um, I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, and I'm feeling a lot better, obviously. I still got some sniffles, but really looking forward to tomorrow. Um, and... Boy, I want to get back to real life. Um, so fly safe, fly dangerously, fly however you want, and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.